in this video we are going to check out the Zal Bureau project and specifically we are going to look at segments 4, 7, and 10 and see the ships that you need to pass through those segments. So these segments are locked. The only way to get past segment 4 here is to win a game in the Myoko that is the tier 6 Japanese cruiser Myoko so you're going to need the tier 6 the tier 7 and the tier 8 cruiser from the tech tree of the Japanese uh, class ships with one small change here so uh, that would be on segment 10 it's either the Ibuki or the Ibuki B and Ibuki B is a premium Black Friday ship so for those of you that have the Ibuki B, there's no need to get the Ibuki from the ship tree here. And here you can see that I do not have the Mayoko Mogami or the normal Ibuki. So I'm going to have to buy them outright. I'll probably boost through these uh, slots here with Global XP. That's normally what I do rather than play a million matches per ship. But that's just me. Um, every player needs to obviously do whatever they need to do to progress through here. But these are the ships that you will need on the Zao Bureau project in order to progress all the way through and obtain the Zao at the end of the Bureau project. As far as the rest of the segments here, uh, it's your normal selection of commanders and eventually they will have to be ranked up pretty high once you get toward the end like 15 or 16 uh, legendary rank does not come into it but they do want the commanders ranked up and when you think about it it does make sense that if you're researching a legendary Japanese ship you should have most of the commanders ranked up fairly well as well as many of the Japanese ships from the Japanese uh, tech tree here you can see that uh, we select in the Anshin, and here that's because you get four points per second, research points per second. Uh, you could also go with the Aoba, but I selected the Vastras. There's no point difference here uh, as far as being able to um, research quicker by using a Japanese ship. So that is just what I did. The uh, daily trials are locked because I've already completed those, but that's just your uh, normal deal where you select some ships that you have and win a match with those ships and that's it for the day and you can see that the first segment here um, the first stage of the first segment will be done in 18 hours and I'm going to do a breakthrough I have been saving my research points from the campaign you can see up here it says that I have 1,750, not 1,000, 1,750,000 research points. And that is from the current campaign. I haven't used them at all. I was waiting for the Zhao project so I can do a little bit of a demonstration in a video here. And here we're going to add those research points. And there we have boosted through the first stage of the segment. And yeah, so now we are on the second stage of the first segment. So now if you want to break through again, let me see, we have 571,000 research points. You got to use them or lose them. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And all right, so in 20 hours and 29 minutes, the second stage of the first segment will be complete and we will get the global XP in the common commander crate but we will also uh, do the daily trials probably in AI to make sure that we can get that done quick and as far as the other segments uh, let me look at uh, the second segment here you're gonna need basically the same commanders uh, yeah, suffice it to say, a lot of people always ask about these, but if you don't have the required ships, you're not going to be able to progress, and that's just the way it is. Uh, yeah, basic ship set. Uh, if you've been playing for a while, pretty much everyone has all these ships anyway.
So that is basically it for the Zao Bureau project and the gated segments on 4, 7, and 10. You're going to need a Mayoko, the Mogami, and the Ibuki or the Ibuki B. First time I've seen that. Uh, and what I mean by that is first time I've seen uh, the premium ship as a requirement as well as the Ibuki. Normally it's just one ship. So uh, I guess that's a little bit of progress. So all right, that's it for a very brief overview of the Zalbiro project. Let me know what you think down below. This is the Jaguar and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you like it.